Hey everyone, welcome to What's in My Bag. My name is Ian Miller. I'm the product designer, developer, and uh, everything else here at Shimoda Designs. Uh, today I'm going to do uh, my own what's in the bag because uh, I just want to show different packing scenarios for the different size bags. Last week I went to Tokyo to shoot two days. First day was shooting a downhill mountain bike team called the Santa Cruz Syndicate. We were basically just going with the flow, just taking candid images in Tokyo in uh, really visual kinds of places. The second day I was shooting with Steve Ronan who's a fellow we work with and sponsor on Team Shimoda and uh, he been in town for a couple weeks now and just basically uh, doing his thing which is exploring abandoned places. We just did a what's in, in my bag with Steve and uh, you can find that link right here or at the end of the video. So first this, I packed the Explore 30 and you can see by this profile I wanted a, a small bag with a narrow profile because uh, I know I'm going to be in Tokyo, lots of, uh, a lot of people, uh, Shinjuku area, I was pretty sure we were going to shoot there because there's a lot of good visuals around there. So just being in areas like that, on the train, crowded spaces, the lower profile the better. Inside I have a mirrorless medium core unit and a small DSLR core unit. I have them stacked on top of each other. So I have here, I have a capture clip on here, mobile phone pocket, which is usually where uh, I keep my phone. Uh, in this accessory pocket, so I just have some mints. Uh, so on the outside, in the front panel pocket, I've got my Teton Bros uh, shell, uh, and in the two front pockets, I've got I've got a, actually a Teton Bros. It's not a lens cloth. It's actually a, a neck gaiter. Uh, you want a little face protection. It's perfect for that, but it's also good for blocking out the sun in extreme places. And it's uh, microfiber material, so it makes a really good uh, lens cloth if I need it. Next, uh, I've got my Osmo filters. Got some chapstick and a uh, USB to outlet uh, adapter because uh, generally on the trains in Japan, you want to have one of these handy at all times in case you want to charge your phone. Uh, in the top section, generally I up top I keep my sound equipment, which in this case is backup uh, mic toggles, some electrical tape. I have a lav mic. A sound adapter for my Osmo. I also have my headphones that I use for when I'm doing sound or video recording. And then I have an 82 millimeter variable ND that I'll put on uh, sorry, my 24 to 70 uh, Sony G series. All my sound and video stuff, all the accessories in a two panel wrap. I always put the little mark ons. I know exactly what my, which one's my video gear. Inside we got two pockets. Uh, nothing in that one right now. And the other one, I've got just some emergency power bars and stuff like that. I'll usually attach my car keys here. Have you ever forgot your car keys after a long trip? Or not forgot them, but have no idea where they are and you get back to your car. In those situations, like, I never think about my keys until I'm at my car door. And there's been times when I have no idea where my key is, so just little things like this, really handy, good for, good for traveling, peace of mind, you always know where it's at. So inside the bag, I'll try and show you this as good as I can. This is a special uh, 2019 Santa Cruz Syndicate edition. You got Greg Menard's signature, Steve Pete, uh, Lori Verge, and Lucas Shaw, which makes up the Syndicate team. Uh, inside the laptop sleeve, I actually carry a four panel wrap. Uh, I mean, look, look at it, this as it is now. Oh. It's fairly thick, it's got some heavy stuff in there, but when I wear the bag like this, you because of the padding in here, you, you actually won't feel it in there. In here, usually when once I start shooting, I'll put my lens caps in here. Uh, I've got backup batteries. I've got two A7s that I shoot with, one newer, one older. Uh, I've got plates, uh, tripod plates, Allen keys. 
Uh, I've got, what else do I got here? I got a uh, charging cable for uh, my Rode mics. And then the bigger one, I've got two radios, uh, just in case I'm doing any uh, long distance kind of shots of people. It's good to be able to communicate. And then I've got sensor uh, stuff for cleaning my sensor every day. Put that over here and then I'll show you inside. First, I have an accessory pouch. Now, depending on the day and what camera I'm using, some cameras burn through batteries more than others. Uh, and if I'm shooting video or photo, uh, sometimes I'll just put this right on my uh, pants belt and I'll just have it just ready on the side. Situation, I'll usually keep uh, good batteries here and then in this zippered neoprene uh, sleeve, I'll, I'll put the exhausted ones here. So that way I always know uh, which is dead and which, is, uh, which still has life. And then I'll just slide that in right here uh, if it's not on my belt. And uh, right here, it's empty right now, but sometimes I'll put batteries in there as well. Same with count here, I've got more batteries here. I mean, you can use whatever you want with these. These are the divider pockets. They're a separate purchase, but they help customize your, your core unit. Right now I have a Sony a7 III, G-Series 24-70, and a 70-200. You'll notice that uh, I have it so it's two columns. The idea with this is, this is like when I'm actually shooting. So regardless of what, what lens is mounted to my body, I always have this one. So if, if my a3 is mounted to here, it will always fit there. I don't have to uh, change lenses just to fit it in the bag kind of thing. And I'll put this in here. Obviously with the six, or sorry, with the uh, 24 to 70, that makes side access uh, possible. So if I want, I could just grab it through the side kind of thing and put it back in through the side. Did not have my belt on the bag. Uh, didn't need it. The bag's really supportive without it. As most people know that use our bags, our shoulder strap has this particular shape that basically almost fits like a vest and it just, it just gives you that added support. So what you lose with the belt, you kind of gain some with, with the straps. Of course, if you're doing big hiking, keep the belt on. So this is the medium mirrorless core unit. Up top, I've got a small DSLR core unit. Now the small DSLR has this foldable flap, so that's what lets it work with the X30. So you will have this little flap in here, but it's not really an issue. I keep my uh, 16 to 35 here, quick and easy to grab, easy changeover. Keep my brush kind of loose and handy because I don't want to have to like fight for it. And then I'll have a backup body right here. I'm actually shooting this on my backup body, but here's an older A6 series. Um, so I think that is about it for the backpack. I use the large setting. I'm five foot eight if that helps anyone. My, my torso is 21 uh, inches. So I'm just gonna put this to the side and I'll show you what's in my roller. Right on top, I have my 13 inch laptop. Um, I just leave it there blank because when, you, when the rollers close, it has these two aluminum bars that are on top. If you're the type of person who wants maximum protection all the time with their computer, get yourself a laptop sleeve, put it inside, or put it on the bottom layer. So here's my laptop on the train, uh, the high-speed trains at least. You know, I like to have it easy access like this. It's kind of like a nice little stacking here. So I've got an accessory case. So I've got a hard drive here, which I'll back my images up to while I'm on the road. Got some chargers. What do you call these? Uh, Gorilla Pod. Gorilla Pod. Um, more chargers, pen, suction cup mount for Osmo. I've got a small accessory case, which I actually use for hygiene products. Just kind of toothpaste, shaver, uh, deodorant, those kind of things. Got a small core unit, which these are all the clothes from my trip, so I probably shouldn't open these because they need to be washed. I'll actually use two small core unit skins because this is a short trip, so one of these is gonna be clean, one of these is gonna be dirty. Uh, right now they're both dirty, but, um, but I think you know what I mean. It's just nice to keep the smell of dirty clothes away from your other gear. 
you see the side pockets. I have my anchor battery pack that I was just looking for. So generally why I do that is I will drop this in and I will run my uh, charging cable because if I loosen this, you can see there is a passport and uh, mobile phone sleeve. So I'll just put my mobile phone in there, like say if I'm on the train or, or somewhere where I'm sitting and I have lots of time to kill. I have receipts in here. I'll just put those in the passport sleeves at times. So when I'm actually commuting, I will, for the longer distances from my house town to Tokyo, I will put uh, my camera gear inside the roller. So if I'm going through a crowded Tokyo station or just, or whatever the, the case may be, you know, camera gear gets heavy, so I might not want to pack it. So I will just put the camera gear in the roller and keep the, the majority of the weight off my back. Some things I might leave in the backpack that I'm gonna want access to. Um, but in most cases, I will put all the clothes and the lighter kit inside my backpack and then just use my roller. It's pretty simple. And there's my laptop. Quickly throw my jacket in the front pocket. And just if I had to guess, this is going to be less than half the weight of, of my camera gear in this bag. So it makes, it makes a big difference. So I hope that helps you guys get a perspective on uh, one packing scenario for the X30. So the Kickstarter campaign is gonna be over shortly. Discounted now 30%. If you're watching this video after November 29th, 2019, the campaign will have been over. But if you are watching it while the campaign's on, I highly recommend taking advantage of it now. Uh, I just wanna thank everyone who's, who's already supported the campaign. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, it feels good that so many people are excited about this product and uh, I'm just glad there's a lot of like-minded people out there who uh, are, are into creating content, video, photos, whatever it is, however you do it. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, we have